good day. Welcome to my channel Astro on Budget, where we talk about all things Astro, but with our wallets in mind. Well, I've got another filter to review today for you, uh, SV Bonnie's CLS filter. I've been using this for some time now, and I thought I would give you my two cents. Now, what does this filter do? Well, CLS means City Light Suppression. If you live in the city, the chances are that it's pretty hard to do astrophotography because of the light pollution. Now, either you can go to a dark location or use CLS filters like this to suppress light pollution. With these filters, you can take long exposure. I've already reviewed a UHC filter. If you haven't had a chance to look at that video, please do. SP Bernie's uh, UHC and CLS filters largely do the same thing, uh, but I find that uh, CLS filter is better if I want uh, to photograph a, a gal galaxy, for example, or take a wide shot of uh, the Milky Way. USC filters uh, will not be good for that purpose. They are a little bit aggressive. Uh, well, my view is that this CLS filter uh, does uh, an excellent job to purge light pollution without cutting details from deep sky objects. Uh, it's solidly made and works like a charm. Uh, and uh, this is available for about 72 uh, Australian dollars uh, for this quality and price. I think it's a steal. Other companies that charge way more for similar products. Some people have noted that this uh, produces soft pictures, but uh, that hasn't been true for me. Uh, something to note is that if you're using a lens, this piece of glass will mess with your infinity focus, which is not a big deal. So uh, you have to make sure that focus is spot on. Also, make sure that uh, uh, you have set auto balance to custom because colors will change once this is on. But with uh, custom light balance, you should be fine. Overall, this is a good value and worth your consideration.